All right, we are going to take a break, but a couple of programming notes. As you know, there has been a lot of hullabaloo in the news about teens and violence. As a matter of fact, a couple of Dartmouth professors recently shot by some young guys. But we're going to have a case called Georgia versus Solomon. Now, Solomon is a guy, a young guy, who shot six of his classmates in a high school. And uh, he ultimately tried to kill himself as well. Now he is pleading guilty, yet using a mental defense to try to uh, get off from his crime. So we're going to show you that case tomorrow. Very interesting stuff. Again, that is, <coughs> excuse me, Georgia versus Solomon. Coming up on the other side of this break, we are going to have a news break with the news from around the country and around the world. So you want to stick around for that. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, I'm Wendy Walsh on the next Hollywood at Large. We take you behind the scenes for a sneak peek at the new action-packed movie, 15 Minutes, starring Robert De Niro, Kelsey Grammer. If it bleeds, it bleeds. And Ed Burns as the crime-solving fire marshal. Want to be a celebrity? Shoot me! Plus, meet the real-life fire marshal who consulted on the film. Hollywood at Large, Friday at 5 on Court TV, the only network that can do Hollywood justice. Two-thirds of your estate, gone. Without proper planning, two-thirds of everything you've worked so hard to acquire could go to the government. Call Solomon Smith Barney at 1-800-EARNS-IT, extension 358, and see how a simple will isn't enough. Get your free special report, 10 Strategies for Preserving Your Wealth. You'll learn how to shelter up to a million dollars by 2006. Why it may pay to retitle your assets. And whether you should own life insurance in your own name. See how to protect the people you care about most. Call 1-800-EARNS-IT, extension 358, for your special report today. See how we earn it. Solomon Smith Barney. There is a rhythm to life. We sleep at night and wake in the morning. It's this sleep cycle that helps keep us in a healthy balance. But for millions of Americans, sleep doesn't always come easy. Fortunately, there's Ambien. Ambien is a prescription sleep aid that can help you get a full night's sleep. With Ambien, you fall asleep fast, stay asleep longer, and generally wake without feeling groggy the next morning. No wonder Ambien is the number one prescribed sleep aid in America. Until you know how Ambien will affect you, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery. Side effects may include drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. You shouldn't take it with alcohol. Patients who abuse prescription sleep aids may become dependent. Prescription sleep aids are most often taken for seven to 10 days as needed. Your doctor will advise you about taking them longer. Take Ambien only when you can devote a full night to sleep and wake up rested and ready to start your day. Talk to your doctor about Ambien. Ambien works like a dream. Meet Mark. Mark marks. Mark's mom Peg pledges. Pledge removes marker marks. Pledge stops crayon marks. Pledge gets very high marks. Everywhere Mark marks. Pledge cleans, conditions, and protects from a world full of marks. Glade Plugins Extra Outlet has the extra outlet built right in. So you can make any room in your home Glade fresh without blocking your outlets. Plugins Extra Outlet. Fresh from Glade. Plug it in. Plug it in. Hello everyone, I'm Helen Lucatus. Here's what's topping our legal news for this hour. Words of sympathy from the father of the 18-year-old California student who's accused of killing four people with his car near the University of California, Santa Barbara. Heartbroken. We are for everybody who's been affected by this. 
David Attias appeared in court briefly yesterday. His arraignment was postponed until next week. He faces 13 felony counts, including murder and driving under the influence of drugs. The U.S. Supreme Court will hear arguments today on whether school property can be used by religious groups after classes out. The organizers of a Christian children's club in New York want to hold their gatherings at a public school instead of in church. School officials say it violates the separation of church and state. And what do you think? Get involved with our 13th juror question of the day. Should religious groups be barred from using public schools? Well, right now, 39% of you are voting yes and 61% are voting no. And please log on to Court TV in order to cast your votes. A teenager accused of killing two Dartmouth College professors appears in a New Hampshire court today for a probable cause hearing. Prosecutors will attempt to show that there is enough evidence to charge 17-year-old Robert Tullock with the murder of Hoff and Suzanne Zantop. He is accused along with 16-year-old James Parker. Investigators have been looking into whether neo-Nazi beliefs may have played a role in the deaths of the German couple. Three students are arrested in Tampa, Florida yesterday after setting off an explosive device at their high school. The explosion occurred in a garbage can in a school hallway. The school was evacuated and no injuries have been reported. The city council in Riverside, California has voted for a massive reform effort within its police force. This in reaction to the fatal shooting of a black motorist, Taisha Miller, who was killed after she was unconscious in her car with a gun on her lap. Under the council's plan, the police will now have to have video cameras in police cars and have increased training. A San Francisco DJ will get to dress as a prisoner for real after an on-air prank lands him behind bars. Joseph Lopez was sentenced to 45 days in jail after going door-to-door -door dressed in a prison orange jumpsuit asking residents to cut off his handcuffs. After several residents called police, he was arrested and charged with falsely causing an emergency to be reported. Lopez's attorney says the court lacked a sense of humor. And that's it for now. I'm Helen Lucatus from the Court TV News Center. Now let's go back to open court with June Grasso and Michael Ayala in the studio. June? Pretty creative, Helen. Yeah. I hadn't heard about that one before. I was thinking, well, falsely imp impersonating a convict? That doesn't seem like a crime. <laughs> right, right. But that, you've got to give him that for uh, and 45 days. That's a long time. It is. A for a, time. Maybe he'll uh, have his own little talk show in, in, in the prison cell. Thanks so much, uh -huh. Helen. And now we're going back to a woman who has the burden on her shoulders really right now. That and lots more today at 5 on Cryer Live. We'll be right back. Friday on the Court TV movie, Rockford runs into an old girlfriend. Bingo. Love is in the air. But danger is in the family. I need a private investigator. You are searching for Yekaterina Stepashin? Ah, and troubles afoot for everyone. Oh. Let me tell you something about the Russian mafia. It's violent, sociopathic. It's the bath once in a while would be nice, too. Can Jim crack the case without driving his old flame crazy? He just won't stop, will you? The Rockford Files, Crime and Punishment, Friday night at 9 on the Court TV movie. He's really like my brother. I look up to him. It's great to see him working toward his future. He made a smart decision. ITT Technical Institute. Education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-942-0099 or visit us on the web. Now you can take advantage of our new three-day-a-week programs. A more flexible schedule to reach your goals. Call 1-800-942-0099 today. Do you need to learn how to operate a computer? Hi, I'm John Scherer, CEO and founder of Video Professor. Seems like everywhere I go these days, somebody's recognizing me as the Video Professor. Well, that's because we've been teaching people how to run computers for over 14 years now. You know, our product is quick, and it's easy to learn with, and you can try it for free. You know, over the years, millions of people have learned how to operate their computer using our product. We get happy letters every day from people thanking us. Violet from Alabama writes, your lesson make using the program seem so simple that even I can use it. Janet from California writes, your tutorials have opened up the world of computers to me at last. But the most rewarding thing for me is having people stop me on the street and telling me how easy it was to learn with our product. They had tried expensive classes, they tried big thick manuals, they couldn't get it. 
If you just want to learn how to run a computer once and for all, save yourself a lot of time and energy, try our product. Let me show you how simple this is. You put this CD in your CD tray, your lesson will come up. The lesson plays right on your computer. It works just like a VCR. You have a play button, pause, rewind, fast forward. Just follow the step-by-step -step instruction. You know, I'm so confident my product will work for you, I'm going to send it to you absolutely free. It's regularly a $59.95 value. You pay a small shipping and handling. The reason I'm going to do it is because I know that once you try our product, you'll come back to us for all your computer learning needs. And if this doesn't teach you how to run that computer, I'll even refund your shipping and handling. So what do you got to lose? Try my product. I felt so good. I mean, shoo, what a relief. I can understand this. After all, choose from lessons on Windows 98 or 95, Word, Quicken, or the Internet. To take advantage of this free computer learning offer, you must call now. Call 1-800-514-9297. and Crime, weeknights at 6 on Court TV. When you're online, came over to pick up toys, and I was outside with him. This was between the last time I talked to Bruce and 7 o'clock, and between that time... I was outside with Harold. I was giving him bags of toys. Laura came after Harold left, and she came in the house, and we talked for a little bit. Then we got on computer online. To you over the next couple of hours, a little bit more of the direct, and we'll be getting to cross, and also bringing this case through to verdict today. So you'll want to keep it right where it is. That's time, our time is up for today, June. Thank you for joining yes, us today. I'm Michael will, Ayala, of course. And we will see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. with a new case, the Columbine copycat shooting. Mm -hmm. And have a great day. of house painter helps Sam find the real killer. Profiler, tonight at 8 on Court TV. The best lessons in life are not always found in a classroom. That's why Court TV created Choices and Consequences, our public service initiative. This multifaceted program includes in-school curriculum, online discussions, town meetings, and TV specials. And in 2000, Choices and Consequences was the recipient of the prestigious Golden Beacon Award. Court TV's Choices and Consequences, committed to keeping our nation's kids out of our nation's courts. Marie Miller is not a bad person. She had an affair. Uh, I'm sure at this point in her life she regrets doing that because it's put her in this situation. A situation that could land her behind bars for life for the murder of her husband. Welcome back to Trial Heat. I'm Nancy Grace. Thanks for being with me this morning. Cherie Miller had an affair, an affair that prosecutors say led to murder. The state claims Miller convinced her lover to kill her husband. Defense attorneys say Miller had nothing to do with her husband's death and that she has been set up, framed. Well, this morning we've got quite a lineup. Not only will we, we will be seeing Cherie Miller defend herself against charges of murder. That's right, she's on the stand. We're lucky enough to be joined by a group of great guests, including criminal defense attorney Matthew Kluger, Gilda Carl, Dr. Gilda. She's a psychologist that specializes in relationship counseling. And this trial has a very interesting relationship. Also on the phone, a reporter who covered the case and 
the defendant's best friend joins us live, Laura Ewald. But first, back into the courtroom. Let's hear the defendant's own words as she's questioned by her own attorney, David Nicola. And my stepdad had went up to the business. And there you see on the stand Cherie Miller in her own defense. Big gamble. And now she's pointing the finger at her former lover, Jerry Cassidy. You know he's dead by his own hand. He committed suicide when he found out she had taken on another lover after her husband had been buried for about two weeks. We're going to take a quick break, but let's take a look at today's 13th juror question. Today, we want to put you right in the jury box with the jury and ask you, do you believe Shereen Miller is guilty of murder? Ouch. 65% say yes, but wait till you hear the rest of her testimony. Log on to CourtTV.com and vote. We'll update you with that vote throughout the day, and we will be right back. Stay with me. If you want to know more, more of the stories behind the trials, more in-depth coverage, more opinions from experts and from people like you. If you want to find out more about your favorite shows, if you want to know more about the good guys and the bad guys, go inside the world of crime and justice at CourtTV.com. Mom, hey, it's me, Steve. Look, we've got to talk about Dad. <laughs> I think it's time he had his own computer. And right now, you can get him a complete Dell system with an Intel Pentium 3 processor, kind of like mine, for a low $829. <laughs> and if you order right now, you get a free DVD upgrade. And you'll get TurboTax software for free. No! So dad can do something useful, like our taxes, so we don't have to depend on Uncle Saul. Because mom, I know how much you love Uncle Saul. Get this complete Dell system with a powerful Intel Pentium 3 processor for only $829. Plus you'll receive TurboTax Deluxe and Quicken Deluxe free. And we'll include one year of Dellnet by MSN Internet Access. If you call or go online now, you'll also get a free DVD upgrade. Lose up to 10 pounds this weekend. With the Hollywood 48-Hour Miracle Diet, lose up to 10 pounds in just two days while you cleanse, detoxify, and rejuvenate your body. I lost 8 pounds in two days. I lost two dress sizes. Two days later, I lost 10 pounds. Order now to lose weight for only $24.95. You'll love how easy it is to lose up to 10 pounds this weekend or your money back. Call now. That's 1-800-NEW-DIET. Ask about our special TV offer. Call 1-800-NEWDIET or visit us at 48hourdiet.com. Hi, I'm Wilford Brimley, and I've had diabetes for about 20 years. I stay active, and I feel pretty good most of the time. See, I do a few simple things now. I'm not perfect, but I try and watch my diet and exercise, and I check my blood sugar. And I get all my diabetic testing supplies from Liberty Medical. If you're 65 or over and on Medicare, call Liberty. They can help you live a better life. Hundreds of thousands of people trust Liberty. They're the nation's leader in home delivery of diabetic testing supplies. Bring everything you need right to your door. Fill out your insurance forms, even bill Medicare or your insurance company, and you pay no money up front. Oh, and they carry all the brands. If you have diabetes, you check your blood sugar and you check it off, and there's no reason not to. And call Liberty. They can help you live a better life. Welcome back to Court TV's Trial Heat. I'm Nancy Grace. Let's go straight back into the courtroom in a very big roll of the dice. Cherie Miller has taken the stand in her own defense, and this is after the state has introduced emails between her and her Internet lover, as well as a steamy X-rated video of her masturbating she sent to Jerry Cassidy while she was married to the deceased Bruce Miller. Let's listen. Did, you, did Jerry ever mention the brief...
Some folks call it a lawn. Some call it a yard. But it's really more than that. It's a piece of your life with a life all its own. Sometimes a playground. Sometimes a ball field. Always a gathering place. So how do you care for a piece of land that will be in your family a long time? With a piece of equipment that will also be there. Cub Cadet isn't like other tractors. It's better made, and it's dependable and lasts for years. Cub Cadet builds its lawn and garden tractors with solid steel drive shafts, welded steel frames, and cast iron front axles. And we back them with a five-year limited warranty. Call us to find out more about the complete line of Cub Cadets in the name of a dealer near you. Call today and get 0% financing for six months. Cub Cadet. It's simply the best tool for your piece of the planet. Want to see your piggy bank really grow? Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh? <laughs> Still paying too much for car insurance? Geico, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more. Your family means everything, but your busy life may have kept you from seeking the life insurance protection they may need. So right now, call Matrix Direct. You could save up to 50% on term life insurance. Just $12.90 a month could provide a 35-year-old with $100,000 coverage. And now policies are available up to a million dollars from a trusted insurer. Call for a free quote. Matrix Direct. 1-800-578-4907. How much PC can you get for your money? More PC than we can tell you about in 30 seconds. A super fast Intel Pentium 3 processor, CD-ROM, accelerated graphics, pro quality audio system, monitor, plus five color choices, red, green, blue, purple, and orange. And that's just for starters. The Compact Presario 5000T. Let us build one for you. Call us direct at 1-800-336-1321 for all this, plus a free printer or scanner for just $8.49 after rebate. Hey, do I have time to mention the... Hello everyone, I'm Helen Lucatus. Here's what's topping our legal news for this hour. Some of Bill Clinton's closest former aides are free to tell a House committee everything they know about the pardon of financier Mark Rich. The former president waived his claim to executive privilege. The House Government Reform Committee will hold hearings tomorrow, and the panel is due to hear from Clinton's former chief of staff, John Podesta, and longtime Clinton aide and confidant, Bruce Lindsay. While Clinton has decided to let his aides testify freely, Rich has not. He's refusing to release his lawyers from attorney-client privilege and has declined to testify himself. The nation's top intelligence officers will meet behind closed doors today to find better ways of catching spies. It comes while investigators are still gathering information on accused traitor Robert Hansen, a senior FBI agent who's accused of spying for Russia for 15 years. The Senate Intelligence Committee will hear from FBI Director Louis Free, CIA, CIA Director George Tenet, and Attorney General John Ashcroft. The first legal move before the likely arrest of Slobodan Milosevic takes place in Belgrade, Yugoslavia today. A prosecutor is ordering police to look into reports that Milosevic smuggled gold out of the country last year. The new pro-democracy authorities in Belgrade have promised to bring Milosevic to trial for 13 years of alleged misrule. Fugitive financier Mark Frankel attempts to escape from a prison in Germany. Authorities say Frankel was caught on camera trying to use a wire to cut through the bars of his cell. The 46-year-old has been sent to another prison. Back in 1999, Frankel was arrested in Hamburg and convicted of diamond smuggling. He's wanted in the U.S. for cheating insurance companies out of $200 million. By March, he will be eligible for parole and then extradition to the U.S. Mardi Gras celebrations in Pennsylvania and in Washington State got out of hand last night. About 200 partygoers were arrested in Philadelphia, where windows were smashed, stores looted, and a group even tried to flip a news van. Most of the arrests involved public drunkenness. In Seattle, police there used pepper spray on an unruly crowd of revelers in Pioneer Square after some in the group overturned a car and tried to torch it. A handful of arrests were made. 
Singer-actress Jennifer Lopez says she will not testify at the New York trial of her former boyfriend, rap mogul Sean Puffy Combs. In a statement from Combs' publicist, Lopez says the lawyers do not think that her testimony is needed. Trial testimony shows Lopez was nowhere near Combs in the nightclub where three people were shot. Combs, who's facing weapons and bribery charges, may testify in his own defense as early as tomorrow. A high school student in Navray, Florida, is being sued by her teacher because she tape-recorded her chemistry class. 17-year-old Asher Zaslaw is accused of violating state wiretapping laws by recording the teacher's lesson. The teacher filed a complaint and the state filed charges. Zaslaw claims the teacher should not have any expectation of privacy in a full class of students. And that's it for now. From the Core TV News Center, I'm Helen Lucatus. Now let's go back to trial heat with Nancy Grace in the studio. What do you think about that, Nance? Well, Helen, I've taped so many classes, uh, including within the last year down at NYU. I hope my professors don't <laughs> charge me with wiretapping. Be careful. I may be out of work for a few days uh, behind crazy. bars. It's, wow. It's absolutely crazy. Helen, thanks so much. And I'll thanks. see you again in about an hour with more of today's legal news from around the world. Well, sometimes it's zany, sometimes it's scary, but it seems as if every human drama is played out in our courtrooms across this country every day of the week. And right now, we are seeing the culmination of a very sordid human drama. The culmination is taking place in a courtroom where a woman is on trial for conspiring to plan her husband's murder. Uh, it's a very unusual case. Prosecutors say she conspired with an Internet lover to kill her husband. Let's go back into the courtroom. One of the biggest questions every defense attorney faces at trial, will your client take the stand? And here, they said yes. What about, you already admitted these emails that, and you tell, at the beginning of the letter you said, I cannot tell you my fears of leaving here your way, which is just peacefully, right? He just wants you to leave. He wants a to live happily ever after with the white picket fence, right? He's kind of a, you know, idealistic guy and you're my angel and that kind of thing, right? How do you, I, what's your question? I don't understand your question. My question is, that's what Jerry, want, Jerry wanted. He wanted you to just leave your husband, and come out there, and live happily ever after. It's going to be hard for her to overcome those things. Well, uh, we've got the perfect person to analyze what's going on in those emails. With us right now from the Core TV News Center is Dr. Gilda Carl. She's a clinical psychologist, has handled a lot of high-profile cases, as well as being an author. Your latest book, one in the line of many, is He's Not All That. Now, Gilda, before I even ask you where you came up with that title, <laughs> I want to welcome you back to Court TV. Thanks, Have you Nancy. ever seen such an obsessive love affair as what's going on in this case? Well, I've seen a lot of uh, obsessive love affairs, but let me tell you, this is a very insecure woman. She is going from one man to another man to another man just because she's so needy. You she's left out the overlap. Sometimes there's two at once. Yeah, oh, thank you very much. Sometimes there's two at once. But you know, her last comment, and this is a quote, I am not shit in this world. That told it all about where she's coming from. She feels so insecure how she weaved this web, and, and, and literally and figuratively, and how she tried to get every single guy involved more and more and more with her. She lied about being pregnant. She, she lied about all kinds of things. She posed herself as a victim so that she would keep this now deceased lover entranced. She did whatever she needed to do to make sure he stuck around. And because she does not feel very good about herself, she could not accept the love that her husband was giving her. And, she and just felt it totally undeserving. We were just showing the viewers shots of uh, of her. Oh. One is of her pregnant with apparently bruises all over her tummy, then a series of four photos of her pregnant, obviously taken at some other time in her life, sent to Jerry Cassidy to inflame him, to inflame his love for her, according to prosecutors. Exactly. You say she's acting out of insecurity. Oh. 
terrible. Well, she doesn't have any belief that she deserves love. Uh, because she had been, in her history, she had been uh, battered, uh, an abused woman, and her children had been abused. She felt that, you know, she never got the kind of help that she obviously needed. She felt that she was going to find somebody else, and then when she did find somebody else who loved her, married her, that wasn't good enough for her either. She always needed more. You know, Doctor, uh, I was just talking to our in-studio guest here, our defense attorney, Matt Kluger, and he was taking a look at this woman on the stand, and he said, hey, she doesn't look psycho to me. She's like she's telling the truth. You know, that's scary, because looking at her, he's right. Does she anybody looks, look psycho? Exactly. Yes. That's what I was going to ask did you. Did Jeffrey Dahmer look psycho? Well, Excuse I me. I thought that he did, I he did. actually. <laughs> I thought that he did, actually. But question, you think you're in a regular relationship. You have no idea that this person oh, literally yeah. has snakes in their heads. What do you think about her appearance on the stand? How is she pulling it off? Well, look, she, you know, we don't attract who we want. We attract who we are. She attracted somebody as insecure as she was. And he went to pieces, obviously, when he found out that she was with somebody else immediately after her husband's death. Stay right there in studio with us. We have a veteran defense attorney, Matt Kluger. Uh, we're going to a break, but I want to remind you of a very painful episode in our country's history. You remember the Columbine school shooting, of course. Well, one month later, a 17-year-old showed up at his school with a sawed-off rifle and a revolver. He opened fire and he wounded six students before surrendering that gun to his principal. Well, Thursday, we'll take a look at the trial of the shooter, 17-year-old Anthony Solomon. That's the Columbine copycat shooter trial. It starts tomorrow here at Court TV. Stay with us. Friday on the Court TV movie, Rockford runs into an old girlfriend. Bingo. Love is in the air, but I danger is in the family. I need a private investigator. You are searching for Yekaterina Stipashin? Ah, and out. troubles afoot Please. for everyone. Oh. Let me tell you something about the Russian mafia. They're violent, sociopathic. It's the bath once in a while would be nice, too. Can Jim crack the case without driving his old flame crazy? It just won't stop, will you? The Rockford Files, Crime and Punishment, Friday night at 9 on the Court TV movie. It hit me when my wife got pregnant. Just knowing that, that my son was on the way inspired me to lose weight and get healthy. I tried all these different things and nothing was working. I thought I was doomed. Then I saw a Slim Fast commercial and I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. I lost over 50 pounds on the Slim Fast plan. I found a whole new reason for living. I'm real high energy now. I drink Slim Fast every day. The shakes really satisfy me. There's about a gazillion vitamins and minerals and healthy stuff. It's just great. It's a wonderful thing. Slim Fast every day. Get healthy. You really can do it. There is a rhythm to life. We sleep at night and wake in the morning. It's this sleep cycle that helps keep us in a healthy balance. But for millions of Americans, sleep doesn't always come easy. Fortunately, there's Ambien. Ambien is a prescription sleep aid that can help you get a full night's sleep. With Ambien, you fall asleep fast, stay asleep longer, and generally wake without feeling groggy the next morning. No wonder Ambien is the number one prescribed sleep aid in America. Until you know how Ambien will affect you, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery. Side effects may include drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. You shouldn't take it with alcohol. Patients who abuse prescription sleep aids may become dependent. Prescription sleep aids are most often taken for 7 to 10 days as needed. Your doctor will advise you about taking them longer. Take Ambien only when you can devote a full night to sleep and wake up rested and ready to start your day. Talk to your doctor about Ambien. Ambien works like a dream. I cannot live another day without air conditioning. Says tomorrow's gonna be hotter. Hotter? Like yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday you said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. You call now. I'll call now. Now's the time to save on Sears installed central air conditioning. Get 0% financing for one year. That means no billing, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. Call for a free in-home estimate. Sears offers a choice of energy-efficient Kenmore and Train systems that could save up to 40% on your annual cooling costs. In time, even pay for itself. Sears also offers fast emergency installation with all work done by a trained Sears cooling specialist and satisfaction guaranteed. Get 0% financing, no billing, no payments for one year. 
Offer ends March 31st, so call and save with Sears. So what's the paper say about tomorrow? Another scorcher. Cool. Sears, the good life at a great price. Guaranteed. I am innocent. Where is the protection for my child? You will never have me. This is not an ordinary murder. There's two sides to every story, and then there's the truth. Fantasy on the internet is a billion dollar empire. We'll take you in live. Stay with us. Legal flashback. February 28, 1993. Four federal agents are killed in Waco, Texas, trying to arrest David Koresh. A 51-day standoff begins between agents and Koresh's Branch Davidian sect. In 1994, the Brady Handgun Act goes into effect. It requires a five-day waiting period before the purchase of a handgun. And in 1997, the Dallas Morning News reports that Timothy McVeigh confessed to bombing the Oklahoma City Federal Building. of house painter helps Sam find the real killer. Profiler, tonight at 8 on Court TV. Sunday on Court TV. The jury found you guilty. 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 Three stories of serial predators. Carla Homolka. The motivation for these murders was to conceal crime. Wayne Williams and the Atlanta Child Murders. We were then getting victims turning up almost every week. I did not kill anybody. Tortured Minds, Charles Eng and Leonard Lake. Two men causing such tragedy in the lives of so many people. Three hours of mugshots. Sunday starting at 8 p.m. on Court TV. had credit problems in the past, or if you're looking to establish credit for the first time, you need someone who's on your side. That someone is First Consumers National Bank. Hi, I'm Lori. Here at First Consumers National Bank, we've helped hundreds of thousands of people get the credit they need with our Secured and More MasterCard and Visa. We say yes when others have turned you down. In fact, we guarantee your approval or your money back. And unlike other banks that can take advantage of you, with us there are no application or processing fees. Your minimum deposit is only $100. Your money is safe. And best of all, your credit limit can be up to three times your deposit and can grow even more as we help you build a solid credit record. At last, there's a bank you can trust and a credit card you can bank on to rent a car or a video, to get online or to get quick cash. Your application is just a phone call away. It's simple, fast, and we guarantee your approval or your money back. Call now. Why are so many people switching to IDT long distance? Five cents, actually. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for joining IDT. Enjoy the savings. Because we offer the simplest, low-cost, long-distance plan available. Just five cents a minute, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for every state-to-state -state long distance call you make. We don't waste money on celebrities and gimmicks. We just offer the best long distance available at the lowest possible price. Just five cents a minute, all day long, every single day of the week. And IDT has six second billing, so you never get charged for time you don't use. No complicated billing plans with rates that change depending on the time of day. No prepayments for time you may lose, and no annoying 1010 numbers to dial. Just the best long distance available at the lowest possible price. For real savings in the real world, call IDT right now. We're waiting for your call. Five cents a minute, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. IDT Long Distance. No one does it for less. Olympic gold medalist and four-time WNBA champion Cynthia Cooper faces her biggest challenge. Teaching. When I can motivate a kid to want to learn, that's when I feel like a champion. The tool I use is a basketball, I watch but many teachers use cable in the classroom. With commercial-free educational programs, free study guides, and internet support, cable in the classroom helps teachers become champions. Cable in the classroom is a public service of Court TV and your local cable company. Now we're going to work on your slam dunk.
Cherie over those five days uh, after her husband was killed? Uh, how did she appear to you? Joining us now, very special guest, Laura Ewald. She was Cherie Miller's, one of her very best friends. Hi, Laura. Hi, Nancy. Laura, I want to thank you, first of all, for being with us today. Um, this case has so many so many different facets to it. There's the cheating facet, there is the fantasy going on on the internet, the back and forth trips to Reno, and of course, the murder. What was going on in her mind? What was she like around the time of the murder? Um, before the murder? Yeah. Uh, the same as she was any other time, uh, laughing, joking around, her and Bruce both. What were they like together, Laura? Could you describe their relationship? Um, they had a very good relationship. Uh, they didn't fight once in a great while. They'd have a slight little argument, but... What would they fight about? Um, I don't really remember for sure. Uh, Just the routine things couples argue about? Yeah. Well, did you know about Cassidy, that she had a, a boyfriend? Uh, not until after the murders. Wow. So how did she manage, or do you think she did have a double wife? No, I don't think she had a double wife. Uh, do, do you think she was having an affair with Cassidy? Yes, I believe she did. That she kept secret? Yes. Well, in my mind, that might qualify as a double wife. What, what do you Well, think? yeah, I guess you could say that. So do you believe her defense, Laura? Do I believe her defense? Yeah. yeah. So you, you do think she is innocent? Yes, I do. Let me ask you this. Uh, you were there in the courtroom. Was she acting? Was her demeanor the same as always? She seems very controlled on the stand. Um, I never seen any of the case, only when I testified. Right. And, and at the end. Uh-huh. Um, yes, she seems fine to me. And have you been in touch with her since the trial? Yes. Um, hold on just one moment, Matt. Laura, how are you? Hi. It's Matt Kluger. Um, during the time that uh, that uh, Cherie was having this affair that, that I think we all admit now that she was having with Mr. Cassidy, you, you said that you didn't know anything about that, right? No, I did not. Well, I mean, you were her best friend, right? Yes. And she was somehow able to keep that from you, her best friend. Yes, I were believe she probably kept that from me because she knows that that's not how I believe and I would more than likely talk her out of it. Well, exactly. So then, I mean, it would seem to be that there were certain things, and she did have this this second or private life of, of things that she was really keeping from you, her best friend. Yes. Um, when you found that out, how did you feel about that? Her being your best friend, did you feel deceived, or did it, did you form any opinions about her after you found that out? I have really been trying not to form any opinions. Um, I'm not a person who likes to judge people. I believe that's God's place, not mine. Laura, question Nancy here again. You say that you, even to this day, believe that Shereen Miller is innocent. Why? Because I was with her the night that they told Bruce, and I really can't believe anybody could act out. Even the best actors in, on stage couldn't act out the way that she was uh, emotionally acting during the whole time. I mean... I've never seen anybody who could act like that. Did you get a chance to say that on the stand? Um, I don't remember. I was quite upset when I was on the stand. Laura, I know you've got to go, but uh, I want to ask you one last question. You still think Cherie is innocent. What do you make, then, of the emails back and forth to Jerry Cassidy about killing Bruce Miller? I really don't know what to think about that. Like I said, I didn't see those portions of the tapes or... Right. Laura Ewald, you are standing by your friend uh, till the end. I want to thank you for sharing with us. Goodbye, Laura. Hi. Thank you. You were just hearing from Laura Ewald, a witness at this trial and the best friend of defendant Cherie Miller. To this day, she believes Cherie Miller is innocent, probably framed, and she just described for you the way Cherie Miller reacted when she learned, allegedly learned, that Bruce Miller was dead. Very, very convincing display of uh, being upset, being shocked, hysterical. Stay with us and we'll take you right back into the courtroom. The airlines need to have their wings clipped. I'm calling for legislation to create a traveler's bill of rights. Now, here are some of the guarantees I'd like to see. 
I'd appreciate arriving on the same flight as my luggage. It's more convenient that way. There should be a two drink maximum on alcoholic beverages. We don't need boozed up passengers out of control, out of their minds and breaking into cockpits. And most important of all, tell me the truth. I can take it. If you're gonna cancel my flight because you don't have enough passengers or it's delayed for some unknown bizarre reason, just tell me. Without a bill of rights, the airlines have no incentives to cater to their customers. Long lines, flight delays, cancellations, and misinformation will continue. I find that totally and completely unacceptable, and so should you. I'm Gary Coleman, and I'm taking a damn stand. Tonight on Crime Stories. Execute me. Judgment Day for the killer of a nine-year-old boy. I heard screaming. I'll never be able to accept what happened to my son. He had no remorse. I would do it again in a second if I had the chance. But how does a jury separate their heartfelt emotions from the letter of the law? There were moments when you thought, oh my gosh, she's out of his mind. It was surreal. Thrill Killer on Crime Stories. Tonight at 10 p.m. Only on Court TV. You went to this family. This is my house. There's no getting out. I want my money. This family comes before everything else. I'm a main guy! For your wife. Tony. Your children. You are such a hypocrite. And your mother and your father. What do you care? It's a thing of honor. So does that justify everything that you do? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. I should have used Preparation H. New Preparation H medicated wipes with aloe. The easy way to cleanse, cool, and soothe. Easier because they're four times bigger than tux pads. New Preparation H medicated wipes. Big relief. The 2000 Crime Victim Service Awards, the federal honor for crime victim advocacy. In June of 1998, James Byrd Jr. was abducted and savagely murdered by three white supremacists in his hometown of Jasper, Texas. They found your brother. They found his hair torn off. The racist motives and brutal nature of this crime sparked a furor and threatened to divide our nation along racial lines. But in the face of personal tragedy, the Byrd family became a pillar of strength to each other and to the rest of the country as they spoke out against hatred and racial intolerance in those tense days following the murder. We want to meet attention. We want the whole world to know what happened. But we're going to be strong. We're going to stay together. For their remarkable compassion and dignity, the Byrd family is highly deserving of this special Crime Victim Service Award. The 2000 Crime Victim Service Award, brought to you by the Office for Victims of Crime and Court TV. Ah, infinite possibilities. Remember that feeling? Kind of like when you first got the internet. But lately, does it feel a bit constraining? Chances are, slow logons and disconnects are really, well, holding you back. Free yourself with the AT&T 7-7 offer and get unlimited internet access and long distance together. Only $7 a month gives you AT&T WorldNet service with the fastest logon times and better, more reliable connections and seven cents a minute long distance all day, every day. Both for less than half of what you're probably paying right now. So call 1-800-223-9000 for seven cents a minute long distance and unlimited AT&T WorldNet service for just $7 a month. The AT&T 7-7 offer. The future, it's what you make of it. Hollywood and Crime, weeknights at 6 on Court TV.